Good mornings on one, weekdays six to nine, exclusively on Spectrum. Today, the first thing on the menu will be vegan tacos. What do you think about that, Pat? Well, it all seems good on paper, Lewis, but you're, you're right. The taste test is the, is the ultimate result here. Uh, Lewis, Lewis, thank you. Ten minutes after 6 o'clock. I did ask about Vegan Fridays on Twitter this morning. Here's some of what you are saying in response. 60% uh, of people say, you know what, the kids are going to be fine. They, they, if they don't love the food, it's okay. Of course they're going to be fine. They're actually going to be healthier. <laughs> I always say, let them learn. You know, they'll figure it out. You know, they'll either they'll find something that they like or they'll bring or they won't eat. If some, some of it is in the execution, though. True, totally. yeah. but we can't let kids decide what their food is or they would be eating candy for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, chocolate milk. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not uh, terminated. Uh, quitting. Right, fair, fair, fair enough. I got to ask you about school lunch before we go. Uh, this is the first of your vegan Fridays. Have you tried the meal? Uh, no, I have not. But we had a taste testing with children, and this is more. This is not a philosophy. It is a healthy way of life. Uh, Mayor Adams, I have uh, Annika Pergamon with me, who said earlier that if we gave kids the uh, the option of of choosing their food, what did you say they would end up eating every day? I said candy. I would probably throw ice cream and cookies into the mix <laughs> <laughs> for, for every meal, but uh, I don't think it should be kids making that decision, basically. Right, I mean, is there some of that ultimately? This is, I know what's good for you? you know, no, to the, to the contrary. You will be surprised how smarter children are than adults. Children have been saying, we want better food choices in our schools. I'm not nanny mayor, but I'm going to do what's right for our city so we can have a different conversation. Good to have you with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Commute. He doesn't want to see, like, the mac and cheese and all the stuff that goes on in our house. Oh, yeah. You, you, should, you should do vegan Fridays. I know. <laughs> Bring that into our house and see what happens. Annika's already introduced her kids to vegetables. You know, one of my, my children became vegan on his own. That was his choice. After having had that option when he went away to summer camp, there was a vegan table, and he liked it so much he came home years ago, and he was like, I'm vegan. And that was that. Did you welcome that? I did, because they were already vegetarian. Ah. So that was, it wasn't a huge turn. Okay. But it's been amazing, yeah. So obviously you know where I'm coming down on this yes. side. <laughs> Full disclosure. No, no one can argue with more fruits and vegetables or exposing kids to more kinds of healthy yeah. food. Yeah. That is not controversial. All you need to do is look at the before and, Eric, uh, before and after pictures of Eric Adams himself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use that line tonight. The mayor eats his vets to vegetables, Sonny and yeah. Story. So <laughs> take that. Exactly. Yeah. Subways and buses.